Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss a basic configuration of a Cisco switch. Right, uh, before uh, coming to this uh, uh, packet tracer activity configuration, dear friends, if you are watching my channel first time or not yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable the bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get the uploaded video notification. And one more thing, uh, if you like to get this packet tracer activity file, uh, you can download from our blog. Our blog link I given in the description. So download it and how many times you want to practice, so you can practice it. Now we will come back to our uh, configuration. So here we can see our objectives of uh, this packet tracer activity. Uh, we will configure the PC, then we will configure a basic switch configuration and finally we will verify the connectivity. Coming to part 1, configure PC. Uh, assign IP address 192.168.1.10 and submit to mask as 255.255.255.0 for a PC. So once you complete this configuration, here you can see the completion status will be 15%. Wow, or really this uh, completion status is uh, helpful because uh, using this status uh, we can confirm that whether we configured the step correctly or not right now we will go to our pc and we will assign this ip address and submit to mask coming to pc desktop we will go to ip configuration and coming to ip address here we will give our ip address as specified in our packet tracer activity 192 dot one six eight dot one dot ten and here we can see the submit to mask now we will close this window and we will verify our completion status here we can see it's a 15 percentage now we will go to part two configure a basic switch configuration step one assign a name to a switch to configure parameters on a switch, you may be required to move between various configuration modes. Yes, that's correct because uh, here we want to assign uh, a name to a switch. So we have to go to global configuration mode. Configure the switch name as S1. And once you complete this, your completion status will be 23%. Now we will go to our switch S1, CLI. Press return to get started. Now we are in a user exit mode. Now we will go to privileged mode by giving uh, the command enable. So now we are in a privileged exit mode. Now we will go to a global configuration mode. For that we have to give configure terminal. And here we are going to set the host name as S1. So here we can see now our host name is S1. And now here we can see our completion status. Uh, it's a 23. Now we will go to step 2. Secure privileged mode access. Set the enable secret password as TechAcad. So it's a case sensitive for a scoring mark. Then once you complete, uh, the completion status will be 30%. Coming back to our S1. Here we will enable secret as specified. It's a tech acad. Now our completion status is uh, 30 percentage. Now we will go to step three, uh, secure access to the console line. To secure access to the console line, access line mode and set the console password to Cisco. Right, so we will do that. Now we will go to line console 0, then we will set the password as Cisco, then we will give the command as a login. Now we can see our completion status is 46. Now we can verify our configuration. So we will exit, we will press Ctrl Z. We will exit, oops, uh, control shift 6, 
exit so press return to get started again we'll press enter and here we can see user access verification so we given a Cisco here our line console password is working now we will give enable and here we can see it's prompted for the password uh, privileged exit password we given as a tech account it's working now we will go to step four secure access to the vty lines to secure access to the vty lines access a line mode and set the vty password to cisco okay so we will set this a vty password as a cisco coming to our switch we will go to global configuration mode configure terminal here we will go to line vty uh, we will set uh, for all the lines uh, 0 to 15 we will set the password as cisco completion status 53 yes it's 53 now we will go to step 5 encrypt the console and vty passwords so we will do that for that we have to go to global configuration mode configure terminal and here we have to give service password encryption now we will verify uh, whether uh, all these uh, line passwords are encrypted or not We will give show running config and here we can see line console password it's encrypted and coming to a VTY password it's encrypted now we will go to a step 6 configure a message of the day MOTD banner configure uh, the banner message as warning right so we will do that coming to our switch we will go to global configuration mode configure terminal and here we will set banner MOTD uh, with a delimiter we will use as a hash symbol then we will give our message it's warning we will end with the same delimiter that is hash in this activity for a scoring purpose this banner MOTD uh, we have to give as specified in this activity that is a warning now we will go to step 7 configure a switch virtual interface configure vlan 1 with ip address 192.168.1.254 and submit to mask 255.255.255.0 bring the vlan 1 interface state to up so we will do that coming to the configuration here we will go to the interface vlan 1 and we will set the ip address as specified 192.168.1.254 also uh, we have to give uh, the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 it's here yes then we will bring this interface up by giving this command and shut down now here we can see our completion status it's 92 yes it's 92 coming to step 8 save configuration files to nvira we can do that uh, we have to go to privileged exit mode here we have to give a copy running config startup config destination file name okay default file name uh, with this uh, step 8 the completion status should be a uh, hundred percentage uh, we can verify that yes it's a hundred percentage also we can uh, check our uh, results we have to click here coming to assessment items and here we can see everything completed now coming to part 3 verify the connectivity ping from PC to switch so we will ping from this PC to this S1 coming to PC1 we will go to command prompt and here we will ping to our switch ping then we will give the IP address of that switch S1 192.168.1.254 we have to get the replies 
we are waiting for the reply so request timed out and here we can see we are getting the replies it's working okay in this video we have seen a basic configuration of a cisco switch dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions so please comment below also for practicing this basic configuration of a cisco switch uh, you can download this uh, packet tracer activity for that uh, just visit our blog uh, the link i given in the description and don't forget to subscribe this channel so friends uh, we will meet again with the next video thank you